a capacitor with capacitor. Okay, we have a capacitor here, capacitor. Uh, picofarad, yeah, is connected to an AC supply. Oh, this is a su supply with root mean square voltage of 240 volt and frequency 50 hertz. Okay, what information we have here? We have the capacitor. Uh, and this is a supply, I mean this is a, uh, we can say this is a source, source, uh, root mean square, it's a root mean square value, voltage, uh, root mean square voltage, uh, 240 volt. So that means, uh, this is the source, the supply, the source, the source voltage, and it is the root mean square value, okay? This 240 is the root mean square value, not the peak value. Okay, root mean square value. And frequency, 50, sorry. And we have frequency 50 hertz. Calculate the capacitive reactance. That means this is the XC. Uh, XC, yeah. Uh, capacitive reactance. And also the peak current. Peak current means the I0. We want to find I naught. Okay? So that's the question. The XC and I naught. Okay. And one more thing you see. This question uh, only have a capacitor. Only has capacitor. It doesn't have other component. It doesn't have other component. No resistor, no inductor. So this circuit is uh, a pure capacitor circuit. Uh, pure capacitor circuit. So you must determine uh, what element uh, exists in this circuit. So in this case, it only has a capacitor, pure capacitor circuit. Okay, so the information given, uh, the capacitor uh, in picofarad, remember to change to SI unit, negative 12. Okay, and then the, just now we say the supply, he said got the word supply means it's a source voltage. And, and another thing is give it is uh, mentioned root mean square value so we must write like this v root mean square source okay v root mean square source uh, uh, is uh, 240 volt okay and frequency 50 hertz and then uh, just now we uh, see that it is a pure capacitor cap because only capacitor exists um, so we uh, the circuit is like this we draw it out so this is the source voltage and this is the capacitor so across the source voltage is vrms source across the capacitor is vrms c and since it is pure capacitor so the source voltage is parallel to capacitor eh? parallel to capacitor so since they are parallel they have the same voltage they have the same voltage so vrms source 240 volt is also equal to VRMS C because source and capacitor they are parallel so they have the same voltage uh, 240 volt VRMS source 240 so VRMS C also 240 uh, this is very important okay so now the first question A XC how to find XC the capacitive reactance so we use a formula XC equal to 1 over omega C Okay, 1 over omega C and omega is um, 2 pi F and then uh, substitute um, 2 pi frequency is 50 hertz capacitance is uh, 4700 exponent negative 12 okay exponent negative 12 and finally, XC we get is a 6.773, 6.773 exponent 5 ohm. Okay, that's the answer. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, this is the one, yeah? Sorry, miss out. Huh? So, uh, yeah. Just now I substitute the value, frequency, and this one. So, the XC we get is this answer. Okay? This answer. Now, uh, how to find the peak current? How to find the peak current? Uh, what information we have? We have the... Um, uh, we know it is a pure capacitor circuit. 
uh, and we have the VRMS source which is equal to VRMS C okay so uh, and we also already have the XC so we can say we can say like this um, uh, VRMS C VRMS C is also equal to I RMS when VRMS so I also RMS yeah VRMS I also R RMS uh, VRMS C so I RMS X C uh, like that yeah this is like formula B equal to I R V equal to I R okay uh, so VRMS C is uh, 240 okay and then uh, I RMS uh, X C uh, X C just now is um, six seven seven three okay six point seven seven three exponent five ohm ah so we can find the root mean square current so the root mean square current we get is um uh three point five four exponent negative four ampere ah so this is our root mean square current so now we can find the peak current so root mean square sorry root mean square current is i naught over set 2 uh, so i naught is equal to i rms multiply set 2 so i rms is a 3.54 exponent negative 4 yeah this one multiply set 2 finally we will get the answer 5 Point zero one exponent negative four ampere. Ah, that's the peak current. Okay.